Um, I'm an American, born and raised here, and we grew up with certain freedoms that um, we expected as our right, and I'd like to help others who don't have this um, and extend our aid to help them achieve this kind of freedom. Uh, what's your name? Sarah. All right, Sarah, which, uh, which, where are you from? Chicago. From Chicago, Illinois. Sarah, if you could send one message to members of Congress, what would it be? Um, we really, really want you guys to help us intervene in Syria. They really need our help, and no one is doing anything. And if you guys don't help soon, then it's just going to keep on going. So please, help Syria. Senator McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Joe Lieberman, did you hear that? Sarah from Chicago, Illinois, telling you we got a free Syria. I'd say free Syria, and we won't stop until we gain freedom. That's right, baby. You got anything else you want to add? No. All right, here we go. Free Syria, baby. Free Syria. Free Syria. Right now. My name is Ala. Ala, what state are you from? Uh, Massachusetts, Boston. Right. Woo. Governor Romney, you got a lot of people from Massachusetts out here. Right. Um, obviously, that's, it's, you know, like... Oh, Thousands of people have been killed. Um, I think it was Avaz that said one in every 300 Syrians has either been um, tortured, detained, or killed, or affected in some way. That's a really huge statistic, and if we don't do anything about it now, it's going to increase. I just remember, honestly, um, I my first election was voting for um, Barack Obama, and I remember him talking to the Middle East and saying whenever anyone would stand up for democracy, we would support them, and I'd like to see him follow through with them. President Obama, you heard it loud and clear. She's asking you to stand up behind your word and that actions speak louder than words. She's asking you to fulfill your promises. Many of us, and practically all of us, voted for you in 2008. It's time for you to carry through on your promises. Thank you very much for your time. When you ran for election, you promised hope, you promised peace and justice for all American citizens and for those abroad. You promised to stand and support democracy and support fairness in order to increase the number of American allies. So President Obama and members of Congress, don't forget Syria. They need us. They're trying to combat those of Iran, Hezbollah, and, and, and the dictator in Syria that every day is claiming the lives of men, women, and children, those that are innocent. Syria is bleeding, President Obama, and we need you here. We need your support with the American people who support a free Syria. Tell them, Syria, we support you, even if it is just words, even if it is a no-fly zone, something simple. It doesn't have to mean military intervention. But to tell them, Syria, we're there, we care for you, and there is an alternative to, to this oppression and, and to this uh, uh, anything that's against democracy, which is the Assad regime, unfortunately. I would say stop giving empty promises and actually take some real action. We've heard condemnations and we've heard strong words, but what we need now is action um, from Congress, from the President, um, against the Assad regime. Stop buying time for Assad. If you're going to act, do it now. If not, then stop saying you will, but we are in dire need of military intervention and the Syrian situation is just getting worse. And the longer Obama waits to do something, the more Syrians are dying. Um, I think, you know, the United States has obviously had a bad relationship with Iran for a really long time. And here's sort of their opportunity to say, hey, Iran, you know, we don't like what you're doing, so we're going to actually take action against Assad. And I just feel like them taking their time is just, I just feel like it's pointless. Morally and also strategically with Iran and with the Assad regime, who hasn't been our friends, and with terrorist elements um, in the Assad regime, they've, they've, um, the Assad regime has killed um, the U.S. soldiers in Iraq. So, I mean, this is their opportunity to get rid of it and put a more democratic and more stable um, uh, government in Syria. It's very agonizing and what's more hurtful is to know that there are people in this world who with one word can fix the situation in Syria and uh, return stability and peace to the country and they don't and it's just it really bothers us and upsets us to know that. My name is Jenna. I was born in Panama City, Florida. My name is Nora Basha. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, raised in Indianapolis. My name is Reem. I was born in Los Angeles and I was raised in Panama City, Florida. See the Gator Chop! See the Gator Chop! Go Gators! Go Gators. Miriam? And Miriam, where are you from? Um, I'm from Ohio. We want intervention now, and um, our, your Syrian bro our Syrian brothers and sisters, are not, they can't wait anymore, and we want help now. And first of all, it makes me sad to, to see that we're standing by doing nothing about it, and that's why we're trying to build awareness here at the rally today, and we want President Obama to act now and help inter intervene and help stop this crimes against humanity. 
President Obama, members of Congress, you got members from all faith religions, from all backgrounds, from all cultures, from all countries. But with one thing in common, we must stand up for the Syrian people, we must fight for freedom, and we must take down the Assad regime. Anything else you'd like to add, Miriam? Free Syria. Free Syria.